friends, it's Kat from Yam Yam Kapow. My absolute favorite time of the year is autumn, particularly because of Halloween. It is also, financially, the most dangerous time of year because every single place you go will be stocked sky high with some awesome Halloween themed swag. Case in point, I went to the dollar store a couple of weeks ago specifically to get some plain brown paper bags and a couple of snacks for an art festival I was selling things at. $60 later, I somehow managed to walk out with four plastic bags full of decorations, Halloween candy, some plates, a bucket shaped like a cat, and a few of these Halloween painting kits. Frankly, the mini easel alone was worth the $1 I paid for it, but why not give the whole kit a try while we're at it, right? Spoilers, the paint isn't super great, the brush it came with is actually unusable, so I almost immediately swapped it out for an old Crayola brush, and the color selection is really difficult to work with, but gosh, did I ever have fun playing around with it. There just wasn't the looming possibility that I'd be wasting a million dollars of materials if it didn't work out okay, so this was actually pretty relaxing. What do you do special for Halloween? What are your favorite traditions? Most years, I make some sort of decoration for our house by hand. Like the one year I made a hundred or so different Halloween themed cutouts from black paper and an X-Acto knife. They were super cool and ended up being on display in my window for months. There's a pic on my Instagram way back if you're interested. Aside from making fun, spooky art, I also love dressing up in costumes. Especially if it's something like Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service, which just looks like a regular dress and red bow, but I know the truth. Years ago, someone told me that the reason we dress up during Halloween is to disguise ourselves among the dead and even scare them away, since that's the night they're free to roam our world and cause mischief. I don't know how true that is, but I know that I'm happy to have any excuse to get spoopy. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me while I played around with this fun little painting kit. Honestly, if you're looking for a good time for not a lot of money, this will hold you over for like an hour or so depending on whether or not you swap out the brush like I did. If you're looking forward to the leaves changing and every household smelling like nutmeg and cinnamon for a while, please remember to like and subscribe. Until I see you next time, I wish you peace, love, and rockin' skeleton socks. Bye!